Hi guys, what's up? Um, I never filmed an intro to this video. As you could tell, I got the back to school plague. It's not COVID, it's literally just like, you know, I feel like also it's like mentally draining. I don't know, you'll see. Let's just get into the video. I slept in until 10 today, which was the best decision. I ended up staying up until almost one to finish my book last night. It was amazing. Since it's Wednesday, a lot of like my um, favorite podcasts released a new episode, so we're listening to Gals on the Go. I'm now going to do my little journal routine that I've been trying to do every morning. You guys need to follow Lonnie Be Fit on every social media platform to be honest, but on Instagram, she makes these weekly journal prompts and it's like a new prompt every day. And this week's theme is kind of focusing on um, a new season of fall, what you wanna do with your work, school, personal life. Keeping the skincare of the morning super simple. I'm gonna put on my vitamin C serum, moisturizer, and sunscreen. I decided to like do my hair and makeup, fully like straighten my hair, do my makeup. Um, still have class technically, not sure what's gonna happen because there's still an emergency alert that says like do not travel unless it's necessary because the flooding is so bad, but whatever, I decided to do my hair and makeup anyways. I'm actually going to dinner with some social media friends tonight, so I'm excited, but they're like Penn State students, so it's gonna be so fun to hang out with them. They seem like such cool girls. I wanted to update you guys on my planner setup that I've been liking. So again, this is the day designer and I love it so, so much. I heard in a podcast last week this method of doing a list of only three things that you absolutely need to accomplish and you're like work or academic life versus personal life. That's what I did this past week and it's been working very, very well. So for school, I have three things that I have to get done today. And then I also have a personal list and I also, I'm just that person that color codes my class so I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna take some time right now to work on my lab homework. Is this it? Yeah, so this is for my helping relationships class and in the lab we get to kind of fake counsel people and have different situations where we have to help people and obviously i'm not going into counseling or social work but i think in the health fields or whatever fields i end up in it's always important to know how to help someone like through a problem so this is our little lab notebook the assignment for tomorrow is pretty simple um we have to write about multiculturalism, kind of reflect on that. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. As you can see, we have tons of balloons that are being hit in my room right now. It is Taylor's 20, well, Tomorrow's her 21st birthday. Jeff is hanging out right here. <laughs> we have some candles lit. We're burning one right now as we're cleaning. Morgan is making a cake of Trulies, kind of like stacking them, putting ribbons, making a little tower. Um, this is what I got Taylor. Taylor's birthday vodka. We have her birthday. And I put State College Pennsylvania for the little location. So that's really exciting. This is also like um, champagne for her to spray at midnight. Penn State and Wisconsin are playing right now. We're in the first quarter. Um, this is also, hi Jeff. This is not champagne. This is actually confetti. So basically if you shake it and pop it, it's a confetti bomb, which I think is going to be so fun.
It's my busy day. Usually I have the rest of my classes. I have four classes today. Um, but my 9 a.m. actually got canceled, so I got up really early. I got up at like 7.50, but for the past couple of hours, I've had a very slow and relaxing morning routine. I cleaned my room, I cleaned the bathroom. I also like had a nice relaxing coffee, journaled. It was a great morning. So excited, Amazon package came. I already know what it is. It's a book. Currently 7.30 and I'm doing homework. But to get me through and kind of like keeping me on topic, um, I'm using this app called Focus Keeper. This sounds sponsored, but it's um, it's not sponsored. It's literally just a timer app. So I'll work for 20 to 25 minutes and then I'll take a five minute break in between. Do that for a few rounds and then take a long break. I feel like I look dead today. I just was not in the mood to put on makeup. One of the classes that I'm taking right now is a it's essentially a senior seminar kind of situation. We're pretty much going over what we want to do with our lives and also applying for internships and jobs, kind of like that stuff. So I'm in that right now and I have an assignment due for that tonight where we're kind of doing some personal reflection on what we want to do, which is kind of like every assignment in this class, I feel like, but it's actually been very helpful. It's making me just realize that I am not ready to graduate. I also wanted to update you guys on my grad school process. I do not want to take time off in between undergrad and grad. I know myself and I know that I need to stay in the mindset of school. As you can see, this is the Penn State Graduate School. I am, I have decided that I'm going to apply to a Penn State grad program. There is one that I'm pretty interested in. It's not my top choice by any chance, but obviously I love Penn State and I've loved my undergrad experience here and I know that I would love my grad experience here if I choose to stay so guys I'm so happy I just came home from class to this surprise in the mail from Hero Cosmetics they sent a little back to school care package PR package type of thing I'm so happy I could cry I'm not cool enough to get a PR package from them I love them so much first of all they sent some snacks a nice little Celsius I've never had a Celsius before so I'm gonna have to try this next time I like go to the gym or something these are all the products that I'll open in a little bit um, but they sent me this sweatshirt that says sensitive and then it has their little logo I just think this is actually adorable okay i feel like i need to open up what's in here now but look at this makeup case i'm going to be using this immediately oh this is a little mini cleanser oh i actually really love their cleanser i did a um, collab with them when they released this line and i loved their cleanser and it's a mini travel size that's so perfect they also sent a mini of their moisturizer again the clear collective line is actually amazing I'm hoping this is the toner yeah i really like this toner it's very brightening and hydrating of course they're mighty patches i don't know what they put in these things but they are a lifesaver i literally had one on my face this morning when i went to class because they're pretty much invisible they also sent a lightning wand and a rescue bomb i've used the rescue bomb before but i've never used this dark spot brightening serum Ooh, it has some vitamin C in it. Wow, they really outdid themselves with this package. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you. It's currently 8.15 and I'm getting into bed because The Circle just released season three. This is not it. Where is it? I need to find it. One of my favorite shows of all time. I also may watch He's All That, the Addison Rae movie. Good morning. Happy Friday. It's game day eve. We are playing our first home game tomorrow and I'm so excited. I had my lab this morning at 9.30, which was not... Um, it's always painful to wake up to. I'm listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast from this week. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good weekend. I'm starting to pick out what I'm gonna wear for game day tomorrow. Jeff is um, assisting me. <laughs> he, he he wants the strength. I'm just here so I don't get fired. 